Welcome to the Find Opportunities tool in Trade Canary. This tool has two primary functions. A, it's a backtesting tool. So you can set up a trade strategy and then backtest in time with real market data and see how that strategy performed. The other side of it is then we're going to take that trade strategy and look for current matches in the market environment today. So you can simulate your trade idea, see how it performed in history, and then find those current matches and go through those today to find those sweet opportunities. So in this case, we are using the basic interface. There's also an advanced interface. We're going to cover that in a different video. You're definitely going to want to watch that one. But for now, let's just start with basic. We've got some canned trade strategies set up. In this case, we're looking at the results of long-term holds. So we've simulated the back test with $10,000. We held it for 365 days and we gained 46.22% in one year with 3,253 trades. Basically what that's saying is there are 3,253 times when this strategy matched up back to about the year 2000 and we say, okay, let's just buy it all. Now what happens if we hold that for 365 days? Well, here's our results. $1,400, $14,622 is, is our current portfolio value. We do have some losing positions. We were stopped out of some positions. Now you can look at the compound gains of this strategy versus the S&P. Now this is just simple math. We want you to get it in your head like, wow, if I can learn to manage my own money and I can get to this performance level, which is frankly not that difficult, and you're, you're going to see as we talk through this, you can absolutely destroy the average 11% gains of the S&P. So 61% winners, 38% losers, 23% were stopped out, but we still made a really nice gain on this. So let's look at some of the matches in the market today. And throughout Trade Canary, you're going to see these little baseball cards. I've meant, I mentioned it before in another video. This, this is kind of just a, a fast view into the technical and the fundamental aspect of this company. In this case, let's look at Franklin Street Properties, FSP. Today they're trading at a buck 90. And here at the top is the technical data. Once you get used to looking at this, I almost prefer it to looking at a proper chart. And then we've got some also some fundamentals to look through. So we can kind of quick scan this. Let me talk you through what we're looking here on the price side. So this bar represents the last 52 week uh, the last 52 weeks of trading price with a low of $1.52 and a high of $2.63. Now we're just showing you the simple moving averages. This is kind of very common technical analysis. In this case, let's use an example. The nine, week, nine weeks of price, average price is $1.76. So over the last nine weeks, the average price is $1.76. Currently, we're at $1.90. Now you can see this little carrot here is pointing up. That means the nine week average is moving upwards. 20 week average, buck 71, moving up. 50 week average, buck 98, moving down. 200 week, so this is 200 week average price is at $3.12 currently and it's moving down. So here is the magic sauce here. This is that, that 52 week range, buck 90, so we're lower than lower than the, the midway point of the 52 week range. And then you can see the moving averages and their directions. So the shorter term averages were above that price. So if you think about this as looking at a chart, those shorter term averages, the nine and the 20 are swooping upwards where the price is above those averages. And we've got the 50 week and the 200 week ab above the current price of $1.90. And those are pointing down. Once you get used to looking at a chart, you can envision exactly what's happening with this. So it's a wonderful way of very quickly looking at the, the, the chart configuration, the technical configuration related to these simple moving averages. Next, we have a quick view into the fundamentals. Same way we're doing it with the price. We just wanna get a quick view so we can move on if something doesn't match up. In this case, we've got debt to equity. So that's how much debt does the company have compared to the equity of the company. In this case, 0.42. In other words, they have almost no debt, very little debt compared to equity in the company. Price to book. This is a wonderful metric to look at for finding valuable, value, 
valuable companies where the price of the stock is much lower than the book value of the company in this case. So what we're looking at is the price of the stock, $1.90, is 0.3 of the book value of the company. What's the book value of the company? Well, what if we added up all of our all of our buildings, all of our trucks, all of our um, patents and things like that? That's the book value, just the raw value of the company. So you can see that the price of the stock is very low compared to the book value of the company. Similar idea here, price to sales. So the, the price of the stock is 1.6 times the price of a quarterly of the quarterly revenue, the quarterly sales. Then we've got, and we love it at insider trading at Trade Canary because it really can tell you something. So this is insider buying on the open market. So this isn't a part of a compensation package or something like that. This means that one of, one of the C-suite or the board of directors had a purchase using their own money on the open market of FSP. So you can click this baseball card and then get a detailed analysis of the company, of course. But what we want to do right now is just look at through these current matches, right? So we did our back test and now we've got our current matches of that strategy. And we can just kind of quickly scan through these baseball cards and look for one of those really sweet setups where it's green on the screen. Um, and you know, you'll see little other little indicators, like in this case, new 52 week high. So this, this stock is breaking out. Look at where the current price is 47.20. It's at a new high today for, from the last 52 week, 52 weeks of trading range. So just scroll through here and you can find new opportunities this way. It's a wonderful way of finding valuable companies with a quick view into that chart. I'm going to leave it there. Please join me for the advanced version of this. And we're going to look through how we can configure and tweak these trading strategies on a fundamental. That's things like revenue, debt, income of the business, and the technicals. That's just the, the price data and the various indicators that we can then um, extrapolate from that price data. So we can set up our own strategy and, and see how that performs. We'll get through that in, a, in, in the next video. Thanks for listening.